Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to print your green roof. And the first thing we're going to do is go to floor plan level two, and we're going to come up to the top and we're going to create a section view of the green roof. We're just going to click outside and then click inside. And what this does is if we come over here to the left, it creates a section view. We could double click on it. And the first thing we're going to do is crop it and size so that we could see what we want to see. We only want to see this roof area. We're going to take and we're going to hide these things that we don't really need to see. Right clicking, hiding, and view elements. This gives us a nice clean view of the green roof. We want to show the railing. We don't need to see that. What we're going to do is come down to the bottom, turn the detail level on to fine. Okay. And now we could start scaling this in our sheet. So first, before we do anything else, I'm going to come to Sheets. Right click, New Sheet, load it. And if you don't have this here, come over to Imperial Library, come down to Title Blocks, and let's do a B size. We're going to open it up. And we could drag and drop in to see what we got. It's really small. So let's play around with it until we get a size that we want. All right, here. All right, and where we delete, and then we redrag and drop in. All right, this box going around it, so let's not forget to go and turn off our crop region in our section. Now that we have this, we could start labeling our layers. All right, and when we go to label them, we're going to the annotate tab. And we're going to use the text. But what we're going to be labeling them is if you click on this and go to edit type, we can see the layers that you created. This is off of the research you did for the assignment. All right. Our first layer is going to be rigid insulation. This next one is going to be that rubber membrane uh, finish. Refer back to uh, the commercial roof PowerPoint slide to see what this layer would be called. And then the rest of it is whatever you created from the research that you did. All right. And when we go and we create this, we're going to use the text tool with the leader on. And we're going to change it to 330 seconds because one quarter is too big. And we're just going to go in and start labeling what each one is. And when I do my labels, we get this horizontal and vertical uh, dash blue line that's going to orientate the uh, labels so that they're nice and neat and lined up real pretty. All right, the other thing is do all of your layers for the roof, and then let's make sure that we even label our railing, the height and the type of railing that you selected. All right, so that will be for the green roof section. And we can even rename this green roof. Next thing we're going to do is create some 3D views to go into our green roof. So if I go to level two again, we could go and put a camera view on one of the corners of your roof. All right. Making sure that we get a nice view of your roof. And then turn on the color. Like rename. Great. And then when we come to our sheet, drop that in. The size looks pretty decent. Let's go and make our inside view. So I go back to level two. I come up to the camera, go oh, my ramp, I created, and show the door. Color on. All right.
Okay. And again, let's come down to our sheet. Big size and crop. The proportions, let's go half the size of that. And the lines floating down here, delete. Looks good. All right, fill out your name, green roof, uh, and then we can finally go and print it. So we're going to try and print it. I don't know if your computer has a printer on it, but what you're going to do is select the A155. Go here to Selected View Sheets. We're going to select, we're going to simply select just that sheet we created, all right? So sheet 103, okay. Let's just hit no. Properties are going to be color. We're going to hit advanced. We're going to change this to a B size sheet of paper, all right? Sure, in our layout, we have it set to landscape. Okay, we'll see if it prints. Let's also upload an electronic file to our Google Classroom. All right, so to do that, we would come here to File, Export PDF. All right, Selected View Sheets. We're going to make sure that we have Sheet 103 selected. We're going to change it to that it's saved in your H drive and your C folder you hopefully have and export should create this PDF in your H drive so now you can go to the Google Classroom and you can upload your file